most importantly, an Aston Martin is very much about proportion and beauty. So the language of the car has to be elegant. It has to be beautiful and it has to be relatively timeless. At the front of the car, this S curvature, which is part of our grill, the grill of an Aston Martin is so important because that is the whole of the front of this car. If you look at how this wraps through, becomes the fender, how this actually creates the bonnet line of the car and this S curvature allowing the air to be sucked in without the wing, it's still an Aston Martin at the front, which is so important for us. If we come to the side of the car, everyone recognizes an Aston Martin for having a side straight, which is how air is vented from the engine bay. But in this instance, our side straight is integral with the venting that we need through the front arch of the car for the aerodynamics of the car. And this is our side straight now, the whole of the body section coming all the way through the car and round the back. The great purity we get through here is because there is no side air intake that's visible in the mid-engine car. All of the air goes in underneath this floating cant rail and that's how the engine is cooled. So again, allows us this beautiful Aston Martin line and form, which is uninterrupted by anything through the surface. And if we come round to the back of the car, an Aston Martin rear lamp, what we call the C-lamp, is so important to our DNA. And you see it here, executed in an incredibly futuristic way, with these individual light pipes, but all functioning elements, and we're exposing the heat sink that every light has to have in a modern car. But this time, looked at in a completely different context, in a completely different way. So something very, very futuristic.